Hi everybody, this is Pete, and today you're watching me use the Camera Lucid iPhone and iPad app. Today I'm using my iPad and I have it placed over a drawing piece of paper here with the camera pointing down at the surface. And what you're seeing is a live view of my drawing surface as I move the pencils around superimposed with the image that I want to draw. The first step is to simply compose the photo that you want and as, of, as you pinch it, you can see the paper down below so that you can place it exactly how you want it on the paper or as large as it as you want. In this case, I think I'll fill up the entire piece of paper with just the face. And when you're happy with that, you can hit the draw button. Once you're in the draw mode, you have several tools at your disposal. But the general idea is that you can come in and you can exactly place all of the features that you want using any technique for drawing or painting that you want. People who are using the application use it for all kinds of different mediums, including cookie and cake decorating, watercolors, obviously charcoal and pencil drawings, you name it. Okay, so what else can you do with the application? Well, the first thing that's important to note is that if you wanna do fine detail, you can zoom right in and as you are drawing, you can just pan the screen and both the reference image that you're trying to draw and the live view will stay together all the time. Double tapping will bring you back out to the original zoom level. Of course, other things you can do include all sorts of filters. I happen to like the posterized filter that breaks the image down into shades of gray and then the level eyes feature that allows you to see just one of those shades of gray. So in this case, for example, if I wanted to just lay down the darkest darks, I could take my charcoal pencil and I could come in here and now to draw, I'm looking at the screen. I'm not looking at the paper and the image is not being projected down onto the paper. It's actually being virtually overlaid onto the screen. Okay, so that's me drawing. And you can see if I was to move this slide, there's the mark that I made. The application doesn't tell you what marks to make. It's up to you. You can trace the outlines of features or you can use more sophisticated techniques. It's completely up to you. All sorts of other features are also available, such as you can turn on the flashlight to brighten up your drawing surface, or you can turn on this vertical slider that enables you to separate the image. Here, let me reset back to the original. It separates the actual image so that on the left, you can see the original image, and on the right, you see just your live view. Other things that you can do include recording the actual drawing as a time lapse, and it won't record the user interface. It'll only record your actual drawing. You also have tons of other features, including a color palette feature that will break the image down into its base colors, and it will show you the colors that it has chosen. You can choose how many colors you want in the color palette. You can even, even come in and individually turn off a color or edit a color to brighten it, you can say, hey, I want to adjust this color on the screen by tapping on the image, and it brings up a color editor just for that one particular image. Don't do that sort of thing, but that gives you the idea. I'm going to cancel out of that, plus so much more. If you're interested in learning more about the application, be sure to click on the links. Go ahead and go to the Apple Store and search for Camera Lucida, the original Camera Lucida. It's a five-star rated app with over 11 years of software development in it. And if you have any questions, you can always contact me at lucidapete at gmail.com. Thanks.